what, what really needs to happen, right, is for community groups like you guys, like you guys are doing an amazing job, of kind of adopting those reefs and helping to do the monitoring themselves, to figure out how their reefs are doing and to help manage their reefs because you're the ones that use those resources and you care about them, right? You guys love your reefs? Yeah, I know you do. There's one thing I hope to learn uh, in this learning exchange uh, trip and that is uh, to be able to uh, get new ideas uh, really in, in conservation and especially uh, community-based ideas. The community to take all of this to the next level, to really get people involved in taking care of our reefs. And so um, I think you guys will get a lot of opportunities to talk with the folks in Hawaii to learn about, you know, how do they get set up? What were their challenges? What were, how are they funding it? What kind of support are they asking for from the government? How is the government supporting the communities? Okay. You guys have one more minute and then we're going to move to the next round. Okay, one more minute to determine the winner. I'm really looking forward to meeting all of the different agencies and organizations and learning from all of their experiences and all the challenges and seeing how we can bring all of that stuff here to Guam to work with our community. We're from the Umatic Coral Reef Ambassadors. We're going to tie the coral to and then we're going to suspend it in the water and then we'll wait for the full moon to come up so we'll wait for the spawning to occur. During the full moon, certain species of coral spawn and when they spawn, they release polyps into the, into the ocean. Now these polyps, they latch on to other pieces of coral that we've left out and they rehabitat the coral. And then when the coral grow to a certain size, we take them out and we restock them in the ocean. Um, I'm most looking forward to learning all the new techniques that uh, I don't know yet and bringing it back to Guam. I am most looking forward to meeting new people and learning new skills that I can take back to the other uh, ambassadors in Guam and teach them the, the stuff that I learned. What I'm looking forward to the most on this trip um, is learning more ways of, about how to help our environment, not only ours but other people too. Everyone, this is Becky, and if you want to just tell us a little bit about Mina. Hey, okay, so Mina is a non-profit organization. Um, we are environmental conservation. We are the leading uh, conservation organization here in the scene of my, um, to really share experiences, help us grow, give them some ideas from what we're doing here. I think our monitoring program is a little more um, detailed than um, some of the stuff they're doing. So great opportunities to share ideas and so and then bring those back so we can help make Guam's reefs better and get our communities more involved. I'm really looking forward to learning and meeting all of the different organizations and agencies. And we look forward to also uh, meeting new people that are actually doing um, basically the same thing we're doing in our village of Montana. Coming up, our group travels to Hawaii.